and the verse which actually pertains to the form of miserliness is miserliness in the rights of Allah and that is actually what is being more strictly condemned what does that mean that a person does not even spend on the obligatory zakat he's supposed to pay despite having the wealth he does not take out the obligatory share of his riches in form of zakat so this is actually being mentioned the punishment of not paying zakat or even the charity in the way of allah despite being despite being affordable and despite having all the money and all the goals and everything so allah now in this aya as clearly said that they will be they will be among the disbelievers and they will be uh, they have been punished by, uh, promised as azab al muhina but what will be exactly the azab al muhina is what allah narrates in surah al imran verse number 180 which allah clearly says wala yahsaban allazina yabkhuluna bima ataahum allah min fadlihi huwa khairul lahum bal huwa sharrul lahum سيطلقون باب حلبه يوم القيامة ولله ميراث السماوات والأرض والله بما يعملون بصير those who are the misers they should not think they should not think that if they are being stingy about what Allah has granted them out of his bounty that this behavior is going to be good for them no it is bad for them on the day of resurrection it will be hung about and around their necks and unto allah belongs the heritage of the heavens and earth and allah is aware of all what you do so here allah is mentioning that if a person has gold and if a person has silver and if the person has wealth and if the person has currency and despite that he is not giving his zakat he is not paying his zakat on yearly basis or not spending in the way of allah then all that all the riches and the wealth will be will be made in form of bands around their necks on the day of resurrection and this aya has been more well explained by a hadith which is narrated by hazrat abu huraira radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu in bukhari he reports in bukhari that the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that people who had gold and silver and they did not pay their zakat they did not pay their zakat then this wealth will take up the shape of a bald snake who will have two black spots on its eyes and it will not around his neck and it will grip their mouths and it will tear the corners of their mouths and it will cry and it will say ana maluka ana qanzuka i am your wealth i am your wealth and i am the treasure you hold it so the hoarded treasures the held back wealth on which even the rights of allah were not paid this will be their punishment on the day of judgment and the day of resurrection then allah in surah tauba verse number 34 and 35 clearly says walazina yakmizuna zahaba wal fizata wala yunfiquna fi sabilillah fabashshirhum bi azabin alim all those who hoard treasures of gold and silver and do not spend them for the sake of allah give them give them the tiding give them the tiding good news in fact allah is talking sarcastically give them the tiding of grievous suffering fabashshirhum bi azabin alim and what is this azabin alim allah says yawma yuhma alayha fi nar jahannam fatqwa biha tibahum wa junubuhum wa zahuruhum haza ma qanistum li anfusikum fazuqu ma kuntum taknizun 
what will be the punishment on the day of the resurrection the hoarded will be heated in the hell fire and their foreheads and their sides and their backs will be branded with it allahumma jirna min an-nar astaghfirullah rabbi min kulli zambin wa tubu ilayk the backs will be branded with it and then the trier will say it will be sent these are the triers you laid for yourself taste the evil of your hoarded triers